I'll show you how to add a button to your WordPress menu like this. No plugins needed, we just need a few lines of code that you can just copy and paste and you will be able to choose if you want to add an icon inside the button and obviously change colors and so on. It's a bit like the time I was on Wall Street. Mm -hmm. Come on. Tip Sweat Punch. <laughs> Hello Internet people, my name is Robert. Let's just jump straight into the tutorial. All right, let's say this is my website and I want to add a new button here at the top, somewhere here on the right. So all you have to do is go to your WordPress dashboard and in here you go to appearance and then menus. So we're going to add just a custom link. So you can open up here. Let's add a URL. I'm just going to point it to Google for now, but you can point it to your website, obviously, or you should. I want this to be a sign up button. So I'm going to add it like this and then add to menu so that it's the last one in the menu. But it doesn't matter. You could put it up or down. And one thing more is that you need to have this CSS classes field. And if you don't see it, you can go up in here and you have screen options here at the top right. Then just check this CSS classes checkbox and then this will appear here. So now let's type in here custom menu button. It's custom menu button. And now just let's save this menu. Okay, now we can see that the sign up is there. No shit. So I prepared some code for you so that you don't need to write all of this. And it's here and the link will be in the description to this page. And all, all you have to do is grab all of this code, copy it back to WordPress dashboard. And instead of the menus, we're actually going to open the customize. So right click on it and open a new tab. And here you need to find additional CSS or something like that. It might, in your theme, it might be in a different place on the global or somewhere, but it's somewhere there. It's uh, a default thing. And the great thing is if you add code here, so let's paste the code here. The great thing about this one is even if you do updates to your theme, so your theme gets updated, this will not get overwritten. So this is a nice way in that sense. Okay, so now you can see that the button actually already appears and even has a pen icon. So I'm going to publish this. If the button already appears, you can skip to about four minutes in this video where I show you how to adjust the button. If for some reason you don't see this button here, it doesn't appear. Then you have to go back to your homepage. Then just right click on the sign up and choose inspect element and make sure you have the inspector tab selected. And here you can see that you need to find the custom menu button uh, text here. So you can see it's usually above what you click on. You see the structure here is LE and then you have A. This is the default structure, but you might have something different. This is my uh, actual website and you can see here the structure is LE, A and then span. So what you need to do in this case, if you have the structure, you come to here to customizer. And now what you need to do is you see, you see here custom menu button. Then you add the space after the A and type in span. Same thing, you have to scroll down again, custom menu button, and you have an A here between the A and the colon. You just type in span. And last one here for the hover, custom menu button, A, and then space span. And this is how it will work for those themes that has a bit different structure. Hey, if you like the video so far, how about hitting the like button? I would appreciate it a lot. You are stupid. All right, now we have a nice button in the menu. So let me show you how to customize it. What you see here is CSS code and you'll need to adjust it slightly to your theme. So for example, my blue, it might not fit yours. And just so you know, the yellow text is just the comments. So you don't need to adjust anything there. And the rest colors are actually the CSS code. So first of all, you have color, which is the uh, button color itself. So the text color. Then you have the button background itself. You have this hex code. So what if you need, don't know how to get this hex code? Well, you can go to your website. And then for example, let's say I want the blue of this button. So I'm going to right click on it and then inspect element. And then this thing will open up. You need to make sure that you have this inspector tab selected. And here you will see that you have this element selected. You can see that the background is here 
this color. So you see it's the same color. So now you could just copy this and come to customizer and paste it in here. But actually this is the same color, so you won't see any differences. But let's say uh, if I changed it to something else like 000, which is a color for black, it changes right here in the screen. And if you need the hex color picker, you just type it in in Google and you get this one. And then you can select the correct color and then you get the hex number from here. Then you have padding, which is the space around the button itself. So let's say if I add this, if I change the second value, then it will add a more space to the left and right. And if you change the first value, it will uh, add more space uh, to the top and bottom. But in this case, it doesn't do anything because we have limited the uh, height. Then you have border radius, which basically means uh, if you have some a bit of like curve on the edges. So if I put zero, this will be uh, just like sharp edges but I like to keep a bit of border radius. Then you have the border itself. Right now I don't have anything. I could add it here. You can put the thickness with the last value here and then you could choose another color obviously. So let's say white, you can see it now there. Again, for my button, I don't need it. And then the maximum height of the button, that's quite obvious. If I increase it, you'll see it just goes up. And then you can adjust the icon itself and I recommend using just Emojipedia. So you could use any other one from here. So let's say I want the smiley. Let's say this one, you copy from here, go back to customizer and change it here like this. And you can see it changes. And if you don't need the icon, just uh, delete this whole code part. For me, the sign up makes more sense with the pen icon. So I'm going to keep it like this. And then you can also adjust the how much space you have between the icon and the button itself or text. I mean, then you have the hover effect. So when you go over the button, what happens? Actually, these are just uh, same thing. You can change the color of it. You can change the background and also you can change the border if you need. And then if you don't want any hover, you can just remove the whole line from here. So all of this. And then there's also a little code here. You don't need to adjust this. Since you have now a fancy button in your menu, how about optimizing your website for speed? You can learn more about that in the video right here. And to get more traffic, make sure you cover all on-page SEO best practices. More about that in the second video right here. Oosh!